Come on, Scout. Cause some trouble. Hello everyone, welcome back to Country View Acres. So this morning I thought I would do a, a short vlog this morning and answer a couple questions that I get in the comments quite a bit. And then later today I'll be working uh, with the sickle bar mower. I'm waiting for the, the, the grass to dry out and then I'll be trying that sickle bar mower out today. And uh, that's uh, that'll be a video that I'm filming later today. But uh, this morning what I'm doing is I'm smoking our last slab of bacon. So when we had our pigs butchered last year, we uh, we had a one whole side of a pig saved for us to be able to make our own bacon with. So that is um, a five and a half pound slab uh, that we cured over the last week and we're smoking that today. So the pigs that we did butcher last year, we are kind of getting to the end of all of that meat because uh, we had one and a half pigs for ourselves and then a half a pig went uh, to my parents. So... Uh, a lot of people are asking, you know, are, aren't you going to get pigs this year? Um, are you still planning on getting pigs because we don't have any pigs yet? So, yes, the answer was, you know, we did plan on getting pigs this year, but it didn't quite work out the way we planned. So this has been a really strange year this year with the COVID-19. I think a lot of people are being more conscious about keeping food in their house and um, stocking up on food. And I think people are trying... So, you know, more people are getting into gardening. They want to raise their own food. So, apparently, everybody wanted to raise feeder pigs this year because it has been difficult to find any. And um, uh, apparently, everybody has been buying them up. And the people we have spoken to about feeder pigs had already sold their pigs and wasn't going to have any available till like, fall. So, they must have pre-sold, you know, had uh, even, you know, litters that were coming already sold so um yeah we were finding it difficult to, to to even get feeder pigs because everybody was buying them up so that's one reason why we don't have feeder pigs this year so another weird thing that's happened this year is the the food processing plants that that process you know the chickens and the pigs and the cows you know a lot of those have had outbreaks of covid19 a lot of those people have to work really close together and farmers were having trouble getting rid of their, you know, their livestock um, and getting those sold uh, so that they could be, you know, packaged and taken and sold in the store. So what they've done, ha they've, they've gone to all the local butchers around here and they have booked them up and got them all set up so that they can take their animals to the local butcher and have them processed. And then they are basically selling all those animals to individuals. They're selling them to, to people uh, because a lot of people, like I said, people are, are worried about food and people are buying up and stocking up. So um, needless to say, the butcher is booked. The butchers around here are booked past the end of the year. So even if we got a pig, we weren't going to be able to find a butcher. We would have probably had to do it ourselves. So... We decided not to, to go down that route of continuing to look for uh, feeder pigs. 
So what ended up happening was we got the opportunity to buy a half a cow off of a local farmer. And uh, we went ahead and took, took that up. So we, we ended up buying a half a cow. So that, that puts meat in our freezer. Um, and then it uh, probably cost us about the same as it would have, you know, to raise the two pigs. And uh, it helps that farmer out as well. And we ended up with quite a bit of, you know, uh, beef and hamburger and stuff in, in the freezer. So it's too bad that um, that we weren't able to raise pigs this year. I really did. I really did enjoy raising pigs. Pigs are a fun animal to have around. I think they're a pretty neat animal to raise, and uh, I did enjoy it. And I, I uh, hopefully we'll do it again next year. But it was just a really weird year. It just didn't really work out. And uh, scout, no, scout. And um, Sydney. But. Um, yeah, at least we were able to put some beef in the freezer and, uh, you know, kind of replace what we would have put in there in pork. So we got a little more variety now. At least we've got uh, beef, pork, and chicken. So I think we're pretty well stocked as far as meat goes. And, uh, yeah, hopefully next year we'll end up getting pigs again. But that's the reason why we didn't get them. It's just a really strange year and nothing seemed to work out for us. But at least we were able to get some beef instead. So the other question that I get asked all the time is about the barn. And I showed in a previous video that, you know, Rebecca was scared of mice and I was trying a bucket trap. And people were wanting to know how the mouse problem was going, if I made any improvements to the bucket trap. And I did try a few things to the bucket trap without real success. But I'm glad to say that we do not have a mouse problem anymore. So Rebecca ended up getting on Facebook asking for barn cats i think i think she actually said she was in dire need of barn cats uh, so here's two of our cats that we have uh, we got these two from the same place and these are the oldest cats that we have so we also have two little kittens in here but these guys have been around now for about i'd say three weeks and that first week by the end of the first week i had only seen one mouse and then after that, we have not seen a mouse in here since. So I think this guy right here, I think that gray kitten, or the, he's a little bit of a hunter. And then, let's see if I can find these other ones. So here's one of the smaller kittens right there. Um, and it is a hunter. It's small, but man, it has a very good hunting instinct. That white and gray cat right there. So we got that one from another place. And then this one here is our little problem kitty. Can you see that it doesn't look very well? It's had worms, and we tried treating it for worms, and it was still having trouble. So we went to the vet. It gave us a new treatment that we gave it a few um, few days ago and hopefully it's gonna get better um, but we're kind of worried about this one the vet won't really do anything right now um, basically they you have to sit in the parking lot and they'll bring you out some medication but they're not doing surgeries or doing anything much at the vet so hopefully this little guy makes it but you can see it in its eyes it doesn't look too good so these cats we've been feeding them over here on this side of the barn where the goats can't get to so we don't have to worry about the goats coming over here and eating their food but uh i think it's worked out pretty good so the cats can get all the way everywhere in the barn they can even get in the chicken coop and hunt if they want they have not been a problem for the chickens. They ignore the chickens, and the goats seem to ignore them too, so they walk around the goats, no problem. But uh, they do seem to be fairly friendly. You can, um, you know, you can pet them. So I think they are kind of got a good combination. They're somewhat feral where they hunt, but yet they are uh, friendly enough. You can, you can get a hold of them 
if you need if you need to if you got to treat them or give them some kind of medicine or something so yeah i think it's worked out four four barn cats no mice so when we first got the cats we put them in the brooder stall right there and we fed them and kept them in there for about two or three days just so they kind of understood this was their new home and then afterwards we put their food back in the back part of the barn the back end of the barn there and uh, they stayed in here and stayed in the barn and we haven't had any leave um so i think it's worked out really good it's amazing probably like a week and a half is all it took and then you never saw another mouse in the barn i mean they had them slayed it is it's that's amazing so way better than any trap that i could probably ever build so uh, really happy with the way the cats worked out so the two smaller kittens i think they're supposed to be females and then these two bigger cats they're supposed to be males they're tom cats and with the vet and everything that's going on we can't get them fixed right now so um, of course the two little kittens are too uh, young to breed but these these guys right here being tomcats they probably will have the tendency to want to roam so it'll be a good thing to get them fixed they'll be more likely to stay here um, so as soon as the vet opens back up and things get back to normal hopefully we'll take these two tomcats the two bigger cats and get them fixed but uh yeah as far as uh as far as the mouse problem goes, we don't have one anymore, and I think that's great. It is amazing. Yeah, cats are definitely the way to go. So, yeah, glad we ended up getting them. And they didn't cost us anything. People just want to get rid of them, so we ended up, you know, we got them for free. Let me show you some of this tall grass we got going on here. This is crazy. So I'm going to stand up here next to this grass. Look at that. That is up to my collar, basically. Actually, it's touching my chin right there. <laughs> this grass... It is crazy it is super tall and um yeah we're gonna have to get this all mowed down um the goats i mean even inside the the netting you know there's still quite a bit of tall grass these these the goats just don't eat it down far enough i do need some kind of an animal that's more of a grazer um whether it be a sheep or a cow i need something in here to really eat this grass we do plan on getting this still fenced in this year um just waiting for the right opportunity uh, to do it. So hopefully we'll be able to do that soon. I want to go through the hay equipment first. But um, yeah, so I'll probably take the sickle bar mower. This is the stuff that you'll see me probably testing the sickle bar mower on. I mean, this stuff is tall. That right there was every bit of four feet tall grass. So that is crazy. But yeah, definitely. I mean, I've got all this grass, right? I need to get some more animals, get it fenced in. I'll take advantage of it and uh, raise some animals on this grass instead of cutting it with a with a tractor right that's what i need so hopefully we'll get this fenced in here soon and uh, get us some kind of grass-fed animal out here to keep it mowed down once i get the perimeter fenced in hopefully i can string a single wire around and try to do some kind of rotational grazing through this i know it's not a really big area but just size it to my operation. Hopefully I can manage this in some kind of a rotation. We'll just have to wait and see how that goes. Probably put an uh, electric wire on the top of the fence. That way I can just hook up to it and run temporary fencing anywhere I want. But anyway, yeah, I'll be out here later, probably with a sickle bar mower, chopping some of this up. So stay tuned for that video. So here's one of our gala trees. I don't know if you can see that. You see um, the apples that are forming on here? We have got we got apples forming all over this tree. Um, I, this is going to be another year. It's going to be more and more apples every year. That's just amazing. Um, there is more apples on all of these trees. So definitely going to have, I think, the orchard just keeps getting better and better. It's amazing as these trees get older gonna have a really good year this year i think well i think the grass has dried out enough where i can probably go up front and start messing with that sickle bar mower so i just thought i'd take a few minutes and explain why we didn't have feeder pigs this year just didn't end up working out for us and then the uh show you the barn cats um those things have worked out great we've had them for about three weeks even though they're really young cats that you know they're not fully mature yet um they have uh definitely done a good job keeping the mice population down in the barn so
yeah, definitely barn cats is the way to go. And uh, so anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.